off here with the co-main event of the evening. The champion with the black shorts, Thiago Machian Silva, the challenger, Lucas Ananias. Lucas Ananias, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Ananias is Salfa. Lanchinha is Orthodox. Ananias became a professional MMA fighter at the age of 18, so nine years of experience already. Good, a shot on Lanchinha knocked the current champion down when she is defending himself. Ananias trying to get these kicks in, but I think Ananias gave Wanshina enough time to get a breather in, maybe. We'll see. Ananias doing a very well job. He felt, he felt that his opponent, you know, felt the, the, the right, his left and tough hand. His opponent goes to the ground, but he's still cold, he's still... And another. And then he is getting some good shots in. We'll see how Mushina reacts. Mushina, the more experienced of the two since he's 36. The record's a little bit bigger as well, but uh, Anani is looking good here in the beginning of the, of the fight. And we talk about experience from Mushina and everything, but uh, Ananias has also fought internationally for a title. It, in uh, Serbia. Both has a lot of experience inside the cage. Ananias is preparing his left hand again. He wants to do the same thing. Another. Confident. Machine just trying to keep away, waiting for the right moment to get a little closer. Machine also getting his shot in. Having a, having a hard time getting too close to the 27-year-old. Machina calling him on, saying, come on, let's go. It could be dangerous. <laughs> yeah, from what we've seen from Ananias, it's very dangerous. Another shot that gets Machina. Machina gets the shot, takes down Ananias. Remember, Ananias is also a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. So he kind of knows what to do off of his back. Last than one minute to work the ground game. Machina will try to work this ground and pound. Two good elbows from Ananias, 3-4. seconds of round one. Some good elbows from the bottom, actually, from Ananias as uh, 
Munchie just did a little bit of the ground and pound. Uh, that's it for round one. Alice, your assessment. Yeah, <laughs> my opinion and, and no doubt about this to me. Yeah. Uh, Ananias won the first round, 10-9 for Ananias. That, uh, that knockdown that he had in the very yeah, beginning definitely yeah. counts. Counts a, a lot. lot. A lot. And he had some good body shots, as you can see right there, from our best moments of the first round. And now the machine is take down. A good takedown, really well timed, well taken. And those type of elbows, those have cut the top of your head. Yeah, maybe can cut the head and, and change the, the room of the fight. Right, let's get ready for round two. Coming in intense, trying to connect here with Ananias. Ananias moving around, moving his head around. Also throwing in some kicks. Machina shoots in, had a good takedown in round one. He tries this. on top we'll try to work a little bit of the ground and pound as well Ananias will try to defend Manchina returns to the second round much more aggressive than the first round looking for closer distance and taking his opponent down and he did it it wasn't a good idea for Ananias pull him to the guard believing the guillotine Now, yeah, now Machine has an entire round to work his ground game, especially being on the top. He makes a lot of difference. He spread his weight. And there you just see Machine working that ground and pound. It's an elbow. Here, an elbow there, a few punches. He's trying to beat Ananias down. Ananias trying to defend, protect himself. And then she has shot in really well in this, in this fight. Now going to half guard. And he's trying to pass that guard. He goes right back to closed. Yeah. Ananias recovering the guard all the time, but machine is still on top. Even in a, inside his guard, he can work the ground game, he can work the ground and pound and getting his points. And this seems like it's gonna stay here for a little while. Have two minutes, 20 seconds left. And then she's just putting the pressure on Ananias. Ananias doesn't have the space to really escape his hips and, and get out of there. Just being pressurized by Machine against the fence. Corner asking Machine to use his elbows. He's going to try to put that knee down to get a pass. But we're back to the closed guard. There are a lot of guys that are comfortable staying inside of the closed guard and working the ground and pound. And she looks like he's comfortable there, but he's also trying to look at a possibility to pass. Uh, 
in my opinion, Machine should you know works better with his knee out of the ground, putting more pressure, trying to you know pass his opponent guard, get the full mount, and works better to you know, clear the you know the submit and the submission, or you know using the better ground upon the side it because he's still inside the, the guard. There's, 35 seconds remaining, he has to do something. I mean, he's winning the round, but you could, you know, get much damage in his opponent. Well, Lucas Ananias is just trying to save his energy and hold on, defend himself, because he knows we're getting close to the end of uh, the second round. Last 10 seconds of round two. Ananias is happy to hold on. There's a ooh, swelling right there to Ananias' left eyebrow. That's big swelling right there. Yeah, it probably was an elbow there. An elbow. Uh, so round one was... Let's see on our replay exact the exact moment when that swelling started. Ananias left eyebrow. There's my shit. My shit believed in it, man. He went. He really went for that uh, takedown, and then Lucas yeah. Ananias tried the guillotine. Yeah. It was risk. It was a risk he had to take. He thought maybe he could finish there, but then from there on, it was just domination. From and there's the elbow. That right, elbow, look, See? it grew instantly. And then they're like a balloon. <laughs> so 10-9 for a machine, in my opinion, this round. So first round for Ananias and second round for a machine. Just remember, this fight is worth the lightweight title of Chuto Brazil. Manchinha, 36 years of age. Lucas Ananias, 27. And Lucas Ananias looks good on his feet with his, with his punches. Uh, yeah, yeah. Standing, he looks better than Manchinha, maybe. And Manchinha's shooting in. That's what he wants. He wants it to go to the ground. He feels comfortable on the ground, spins out of it. Ananias. Munchin is sitting down. He's going to get back up. I think he's a little tired. Or well, he's feeling he something. I don't know if it's the foot. Yeah. But he showed that he felt it. And then he saw that. And then he also tried to take advantage. Yeah, yeah, of course. But Munchin is, he's, Man, in my opinion, he's walking wrong because he walks to the Ananias' stronger hand. Okay. And now Ananias Alpha, and he's walking to the other side. He has to walk to, you know, his left hand. I mean, Ananias left hand. He's walked to the other side and moves right in front of Ananias, you know, stronger hand. And he throws his left and he hit. He hurts a lot. Well, now Machine took him down. And working on the ground game again, ground and pound. Now he has pretty much three and a half minutes to work. And I gotta say, Thales, I've liked Munchia's takedown game. He's sharp. It's, it's straight on. Man. Yeah. And if I were to say something, I know that, uh, you know, it looks like he's focused on him being a jiu-jitsu fighter, black belt, but Munchia as well. I mean, he's, he's good. And he's good. Traditionally, I would say, if I were, if I didn't know the guys, I would say Munchia is the jiu-jitsu guy, and Aeneas is the stand-up fighter. Th that's what I would say, just looking at them without knowing. Yeah, it's clear. You see there, uh, and I'm just trying to get a Kimura. It doesn't have the right position there, defending well. Munshina just putting that arm below his body. Should be putting like, pressure on those elbows right there. You 
Lucas Ananias corner is just telling him to push on it. He said, get away from it. Create a little bit of space. That's what he's trying to do, but... Uh, Defend it, maybe get away from this position, but now he goes, well, close guard. Yeah, and then, and then he has recovered well the guard, the guard, but he stayed there. You know, he has to, to know, use the wall wall, get back, get back on stand. Uh, it's his chance. And look at that elbow, goes in right to where the swelling is. situation is you know it's much better than machine because he's on the top using the ground and pound and if he hit once again that balloon in <laughs> that's a look at how big machines, it is yeah in machines have maybe you know it can change and there you go just those hammer down the hammer punches he knows it, Uh, round three, we have two more to go after this one. Just remember, this is the co-main co event of the evening. It's for the lightweight Shinto Brazil title. Throughout most of this third round, last 10 seconds, when she had throwing the elbows, and he's it already opened up. It's that uh, that swelling opened up over the eyebrow of Ananias. And we're going to round four. Another good round, but my opinion, another round for Machine, 10-9 for Machine this round. And Ananias, I just looked at him as he's going to his corner. He's he's mad. He's really upset with uh, with. Seems I would I would say maybe his performance or what happened here in a round uh, in the third round at least. And he wasn't really where he wanted to be. It was a tough round for him, but yeah. man, this the, the takedown game from Munchin has been excellent. Thiago Manchinha da Silva. Manchinha, if I were to translate his nickname, means Little Stain. Actually, a common nickname. There's another Manchinha in Jiu Jitsu. It's not an uncommon nickname. Let's go to round four. I think we're going to get a doctor to take a look at these cuts that uh, Lucas Ananias has. And not just the cuts, but that swelling right over his left eye. He gets the okay. And I, th and I think on it, Ananias might even have a cut on his head, not just on the eyebrow, but there's some swelling as well to Munchina's left eye. This is the result of the ground and pound. Trying to get that single leg. Machine should move to his left, to his left side. 
He's moving to the, the wrong side. He's moving to the, you know, Ananias' stronger hand is his left hand. I think Ananias has been, he's gonna, he's almost, he was almost taken down, but there's Manchina again. Ananias needs to stay on his feet. I mean, he looks better standing up than he does yeah. being smashed by Manchina. Manchina doing his job, though. He's doing his part. He's doing a good job as that guillotine attempt is swiped away. With Manchina, you definitely see a very experienced fighter. And I know Lucas Ananias has experience as well, but Machia has more. And he's putting the fight where he feels where he feels comfortable. Yeah, he is. Machia professional fights he has. 35 professional fights, while Lucas Ananias has 18, so almost double. Yeah, but the age makes different too. Machina has 36 and Ananias has 27. Yeah. yeah. Nine year gap between these two. Machina close to the end of his career while Ananias has at least a good decade ahead of him. Experience talking right there, that knee over the hand just to make way for these shots right on the face of Lucas Ananias. There's a birthday happening here, birthday party. The champagne uh, that we heard in the background. As two guys are battling it out there in the middle of the cage, there is a birthday party going on. Good job by Machina. Just mounted Lucas Ananias. Lucas Ananias gets away, makes a little bit of space, gets half guard back in there. But what a battle for Ananias. He's just taking on constant pressure in this fight. Good mount there from Manchino once again. But you can see that uh, he's trying to... Saída de quadril in Portuguese, shrimping in English. He's trying to shrimp out of there, which means escaping his hips and creating a little bit of space to at least get half guard back. And that's what he did. What a tough fight for him. He's, he's taking on a lot of pressure, but he's still in there. And he still does have a knockout potential, but he has to be on his feet. He did knock Mishin out in round one. The very, almost one of the first things that happened in the fight, he was able to connect with Mishin's chin. Mishin went down. Then he went towards him, but he didn't go with the pressure that, let's, let's say, Mike Davidson did. And I think it was in our prelim fight where he was able to connect, just went forward and knocked yeah. his adversary out. And Ananias didn't do the same thing. He was a little bit slower to move forward and put the pressure. He's recovering well, but he, he, he couldn't escape anymore. Well, that's round four, Thales. What a battle. We still have a whole five minutes left. Yeah, another round, in my opinion, for Machina. 10-9 in this round two. So, there's one more round and looks clear. If Ananias wants to get this belt, he has to do something, you know, really big or knocking his opponent out or submit him, you know. Well, in the MMA world, in the boxing world, in the fighting world, you usually say the champion, well, he's there. 
the challenger is the one that has to show even more that, hey, I'm here to take this belt away from the champion. Yeah. And uh, especially if it goes down to a decision or something like that, the challenger needs to do something big. Yeah, but the champion is doing a very, oh, he's doing very a good, good job. job. Yeah. yeah, he's doing a very good job. In my opinion, he could try, you know, a, a submission attempt a sometimes because he's completing, dominating his opponent on the ground, but he didn't try, you know, anything more of a, uh, I mean, something more effective, like how effective exactly. There we go with the fifth and final round. Haven't had the guys on their feet a lot. It looks like an it looks like is. Oh, well, he's moving around. He needs to try to stay on his feet. You know that machine is going to shoot in eventually. There he goes. He goes. He throws across a hook. And then he shoots in, and another beautiful takedown from Munchia. And oh, he, he has four and a half minutes to work. Knee on the belly, which we don't see usually. Oh, knee went straight to the mount. And then he has survival mode. Thales did say that maybe Manchina could try some kind of finish, but he's just in control here, in control on the mount. And when somebody's on the mount like that, you put pressure, you put your chest against your adversary's face just to make things uncomfortable, makes it harder for him to breathe. And you see how the the Manchina's left shoulder is right on top of the face of Vanani. It just makes it harder for him to breathe. It kind of gas him. He goes to the back. Nice jujitsu work. Nice transition to the back, but he shouldn't cross his leg in front <laughs> of his opponent. When you do that, oh, yeah. you there's an opening for somebody to get a leg lock, but right there, just close the triangle on the body. That makes it really tough yeah. for Anias. Now he got the body triangle. But he should move to the other side. It's better for him to attack his opponent. Machine. He should move to the other side. He's opponent to the left side now. He's trying that rear naked in. Uh, Lucas Anania is defending it with his chin. He's, then uh, Munchina slips the left arm in. Of course, Anania puts his chin in there to defend. Uh, this is, I don't know what's worse, being mounted on or have, having somebody on your back with the triangle right over your your abdomen Ugh. in these situations in these situations it's better you know on the mount when he Ananias wasn't re receiving punches so, yeah you know, I mean solid punches in this situation is you know it's worse for him a lot see and taps. rear naked choke in Brazil Portuguese would say Mata Leão but what a win for Manchinha he had an excellent display today Great takedowns. He actually went down from a, a, an initial shot from Ananias, but from then on, he took over, showed great takedowns, showed great jujitsu, and a lot of ground and pound. Excellent fight. Congratulations to the champ. Congratulations to the still champion, Thiago Manchinha Silva. Here you see the replay, or the best moments of the fight. Great takedowns from Manchina. I mean, he was he was knocked down initially in round one, but from then on, it was just Manchina takedowns nonstop. Was able to mount, was able to get the back. He didn't do any finish attempts, but he dominated on the ground. Well, I'm sorry, he did do some finish attempts, and then he won the fight with a rear naked. With, with the first finish, he actually really tried but beautifully just slipping that right arm in, getting under the chin, and finishing it. We have Thales Leitz in the middle of the cage. For the interview, we also have Andre Pedernetes de De in the cage to put that uh, belt on the champion, Thiago Manchinha Silva. The referee has stopped the fight at two minutes, 29 seconds of the five round and declaring the winner and 
Steel Lightweight Shoto Champion Thiago Machia Silva Pessoal é, primeiro, parabenizar aqui ao Manchinha por mais uma defesa de título. Manchinha e hoje a gente tem um desafiante no ranking que está aqui para desafiar again, ele, que é o Júnior Luiz. Júnior, por favor. To, uh, have a word with Manchinha. Junior Luiz is coming in. Manchinha. 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 Esse é teu próximo desafiante aí. This is your next adversary. Vocês... Gostaria só que vocês fizessem... He's talking to Manchinha's son. A encarada aqui dos dois, por favor. They're going to do that face-off. Vai lá, Júnior. For the next title fight in the future, Chuto Brazil. Vai só encarada para uma foto, por favor. It's getting the face-to-face -face here. The stare down então for a picture. Então essa será a próxima luta pelo título da categoria de 70 quilos. This will be the next battle for the title.